Trust your first impression. What do you see? Where are you? Rocks are coming down. Rocks are coming down. Falling mm -hmm. on me and Tell me more. It's like it's raining rocks. Mm -hmm. Pebbles. How big are these rocks? Quarter. Mm -hmm. Scary. To, mm -hmm. I want you to stop the scene right there and describe where you are and what you look like. Are you male or female? I think I'm female. Mm -hmm. Trying to see whether mm -hmm. where we're being hit. Okay. Are I, these pebbles that are coming? These rocks? Are they coming from nature? Or are they coming? Yes. Mm -hmm. Something's. I can't see. I might be a volcano. I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay. Use all of your other senses. Use your senses. Just like when you walk into a room. It's in green. Dark. A lot of green. A lot of green. It's coming in and out. It's fearful. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Look around you. Are you by yourself? Or yes. are there others with you? Mm-hmm. Seem to be alone. I don't understand. How old do you feel there? A young, young woman. A young woman. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for others and I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see how that scene pans out and just take me through it. I'll be right next to you. I feel stuck. I can't move. Am I? Trying to look. Mm-hmm. Are your feet stuck? I'm just terrified. Okay. I'm looking for somebody, some, somebody to help. Mm-hmm. And it's loud. Can you tell me what it looks like around you? Are you indoors or outdoors? outside? Outside. Mm -hmm. Looking up. Mm-hmm. What do you see? Can't see the top. I can't see the top. Okay. Something is coming down hard. Look at the terrain around you. Is it being rugged? Rugged? Is it being filled with rocks? Yes. Okay. What color are these rocks? Gray. Mm -hmm. Dark. Trying not to be so scared. Mm -hmm. Walk me through it. I'm right next to you. I don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, rocks have subsided a little. I'm looking for somebody. To, I don't know why I'm there. But I'm pretty scared. Mm -hmm. um, it's green. I can... It's green? Mm -hmm. It's green. When bushes. You, bushes. Are there trees around no, you? Oh, I don't see too many trees. Mm -hmm. Just bushes. Is the land hilly? Yes. Where you are? Yes. Okay. Look down at your feet and tell me what's going on. I think I'm barefoot. You're barefooted. And what, what are you wearing in this place? of a dress mm -hmm. it goes down low along. Okay. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. I want you to fast forward the scene to see what comes after that. I'm 
someplace else. Mm -hmm. And I can see a lion. I can see a male lion. You can see a male lion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he can see me too. Mm -hmm. Are you the same person there? No. Okay, describe who you are there. Male, female? Just male. Mm -hmm. I feel male. Look down at your body and see what you look like. Black. Black? Mm-hmm. Barefoot. I think I'm a hunter. Okay. I think. But afraid of that lion. You're afraid of the lion? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens next. Tell me everything that happens. It's dark now. Mm-hmm. It's dark. I don't see anything. Tell me more. Fearful still. You're still fearful. What do you feel is around you? Danger. Mm-hmm. What are you afraid of? All right, let's go find out what it is that you're afraid of. I want you to go forward or backwards in that same lifetime to see where that fear comes from. What's causing the fear? What's coming to you? We have to hunt. We have to hunt. Mm -hmm. I'm with a group. Yes. How old do you feel there? Young. Young. Are you a boy? A young boy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe teenager. Teenager. Maybe. Mm -hmm. And who are the ones around you? Friends. Are they boys too? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is your, your task? Do you have to look for food? Yes. Mm -hmm. So take and me scary. There. And scary. Have you hunted before? I don't think so. I'm not sure. So let's go through the scene and tell me what happens next. I'm walking slow. Looking. Everybody's looking. And we see a lion. He sees us. It's kind of a standoff. Again. Mm -hmm. And I am scared. We have to. I don't think I want to kill him. I don't think we're supposed to kill him. Do you use the lion for food? His skin. And the skin? Okay. So tell me what happened. He's... I think he's killed. I... I don't want him to be killed. How do you feel about the lion? Sorry for him. Mm-hmm. I don't understand that feeling. So move forward and see what happens after that. Just dancing. Mm-hmm. Is this a dance of celebration? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. How are you feeling about it? Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you have any feelings against these companions of yours that killed the No. Okay. No, no. Is They're there friends. They're, They're friends. Yeah. Do you have any feelings about the lion? Sad. Mm hmm. He's so beautiful. But it's the way of the people. Mm hmm. 
So let's leave that scene now. Let's move ahead to the other scene when you were again confronted with the lion. I want you to see yourself there again. It's looking at us. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with that lion telepathically. Your spirit, he is spirit. You can connect telepathically. And tell me what thoughts are going on between you. It's sad. Mm -hmm. That it's going to happen. What does the lion feel? Connect with them. He knows it's going to happen. Okay. Now that you know that the lion knows, how does that make you feel? Part of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that change the moment now? Not so sad. Not so sad. He's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I want you to go ahead and send him that that message to him and see what he gets, what you get back. I can't put it into words. Okay. Do you get the feelings? Yes. Very good. Do you feel like you're at peace with him now? Yes. Very good. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's move ahead to another scene in that lifetime when something else is happening. <clears throat> What's happening there? People are agitated. <laughs> They're jumping up and down. Can you get the feeling of what's happening? Possibly war. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Older. Much mm -hmm. older. Much older. So take me through the scene and tell me what happens. You're all in a line. <coughs> jumping up and down. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting ready. But I don't just see the agitation. How do you feel about this? Not much. I, watching the young men who got spears. Mm -hmm. Are you older than them? Yes. Okay. Just what, what we do. Mm -hmm. How do you fit into that village? What is it that you do there? Man, mm -hmm. part of the village. Part of the village. So let's see what happens after this dance. What happens next? They're fighting mm -hmm. another tribe. Where are you? On a high ground watching mm -hmm. with other old people. What do you see? deep inside of you, what 
What feelings are you getting? Proud of the bravery. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to lose some. Mm -hmm. are you, where are the women and children there? At another place. Mm -hmm. Hidden. So let's see what happens, how this affects you. Proud of the bravery. Very good, very good. So let's close that scene behind. Let's move to another scene. When you're older, go to the last day of your life there. Hard to breathe. Hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Very old. Very old. How old do you feel there? I don't know. Many mm -hmm. summers. Many summers. My wife is there. Your wife is there. Family. Family. How is your body feeling? Tired. Mm hmm. Are your body ill, or have you chosen to leave now? This is very old. Very old. Okay, I want you to go to the last moment of your life. Take, take your last breath, and I want you to tell me what it is that you're thinking as you transition. Glad it's over. Good. Good. So I want you now to close that scene. And now we've gone to the other side. From that side, you can look back at your life. You could see it from a different perspective. Every life has a purpose. It has lessons. What was the purpose of that lifetime? What were you supposed to be learning? Be strong. Be strong. Mm -hmm. Be brave. Be brave. Take care of others. Do you feel that you accomplished that in this lifetime? <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. So as you are on the other side looking down at the body of Kathy, what suggestions would you have for her? Let go. Let go. Very good. Very good. Is there anything in this lifetime that she is picking up from you? Finally getting stronger. Finally getting stronger. Was she supposed to be stronger? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much for the information you've given Kathy here today. May the light of the universe accompany you always. And now I want to you to travel through time and space again. I want you to go back to that woman who was having the stones falling on her. I want you to go back to that lifetime to an important scene that will give us more information about her life. Be there now. In the mountains. In the mountains. Mm -hmm. What are you doing there in the mountains? Enjoying. Enjoying? There's a waterfall. A waterfall. Very good. Are you by yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Ten, ten, twelve. 
12, you're a little girl. It's a teenager. Yeah, maybe. Teenager. Mm hmm. So tell me about this scene and what's happening there. I'm wandering through. Oh, countryside. Mm hmm. Where is this place that you live? Is there a name for it? What's the first thing that pops in Europe? Europe. Europe. Okay. No name. Just no name. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happens now. Loud noise and rocks. Loud noise and rocks. Mm-hmm. And I'm stuck there. Mm-hmm. Very scared. Are you by yourself there? Yes. There's nobody with you? No. How far do you live from this place? <laughs> Not too far. Not too far. So tell me what happens with these rocks. Look around you. What do you see now? I've climbed pretty high up. Mm -hmm. I've climbed pretty high up. On the other side. Mm -hmm. I can see down there. I could see down the mountain. Mm -hmm. What's down it's there? Village something. There's houses. Little. There's a village down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has anything happened to the village? Not yet. What do you feel that's going to happen? Trying to get down. Mm -hmm. Trying to get down? Mm-hmm. Trying to get down and get away. Are these stones bigger or small? Hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of them. Hundreds of stones hitting you? Just hitting, coming down the mountain. Oh, they, are they rolling down the mountain? <laughs> are they flying through the air? They're flying through They're the air. They're flying through the air. Okay, so what happens next? Running away. Yeah. I'm sliding in the rocks. I'm sliding in the rocks. I don't think I made it. I don't think I made it. I don't think I did. All right, or so. I was hurt or hit too many times. All right, so I want you to see yourself transitioning out of your body. You're on the other side of it now, and you can look back at that scene and tell me what was going on. <coughs> May have been a landslide. A landslide, okay. Rocks were coming high. Rocks were off. coming? Mm-hmm. Were coming off the mountain? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tell me what happens after you, after you transition, where do you go? Where does your spirit go? Clouds. 
in the clouds. Mm -hmm. Keep going into that cloud. You can tell me what happens next. The golden. The golden? The cloud looks gold. The cloud looks gold. Keep going up. Tell me where you go. Looking down. Mm -hmm. As you look down at your body and your life, what lesson were you supposed to learn in that life? What was the purpose of it? The body is buried. Mm -hmm. Is it buried in the rocks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Never found her. Never found her. A lot of, a lot of houses buried. A lot of houses buried. What happened to her spirit? Where did it go? Back to the clouds. Back to the clouds, okay. Let me ask you how this little girl is affecting Kathy today. Feeling alone. Feeling alone. Mm-hmm. Is, is Kathy someone that she knew from a different life? I want you to follow that lineage and tell me. My sister. My sister. Mm-hmm. So why did you find Kathy? What were you looking for? your sister get buried also? I don't know. Mm -hmm. what? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. In that lifetime, what was your name? Katrina. Katrina? Katya. Katya? Mm -hmm. Does Katya sound better? Yes. Katya. Katya, after you left your body, how did you find your sister? Did you attach yourself to her soul? No. No? Did you go back to the source? Went to clouds. You went to the clouds. Okay. Was there anybody there to meet you? No. So what happened after that? Where did you go next? I saw a beautiful temple. I saw a beautiful temple. In the clouds. In the clouds. I walked in. I walked in. And there was a lady there. There was a lady there. Mm-hmm. I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. Let's find it's out. A place of learning. A place of learning. Okay. Tell me everything that happens after you walk into this temple. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Describe it to me. White pillars. White pillars. Very large. A lady comes out. A lady comes out. How does this she's in a toga. She's a beautiful a Roman a, outfit. A Roman toga. Mm -hmm. Long blonde hair. Very Long blonde hair. Friendly and smiling. Very friendly and smiling. She lives there. She lives there. I don't have a name. What did she say to you? Happy to see me. Happy to see me. 
So let's find out what you're doing in that beautiful learning place. Let's follow that life and see where it takes you. People there. People and books. People and books. Mm -hmm. Like a giant library. Like a giant library. What do these books look like? Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Mostly men. Mostly men. Are they dressed in any particular way? Roman. Roman. <coughs> Light and airy. Beautiful. Light and airy and beautiful. Like white marble everywhere. Mm-hmm. I want you to focus on yourself. How are you dressed and how do you look? Looks Roman. Mm hmm You look Roman too? Mm -hmm. Are you male? Dress. Dress. Are you a female? Yes. Mm hmm Tell me more. Pretty, nice, I don't know why she's there. Let's find out what happens in this place. Higher learning. Higher learning. Mm -hmm. And I can look at anything I want. I can look at anything I want. Is this place, does this place have a name? Temple. A temple. Of Temple of Learning. There's more. I can't get it. Temple of Learning. Very beautiful. Mm-hmm. So what is it that you're learning in this place today? Anything I want today. It's not specific. Not specific. Joining, reading, discussing. Happy. Mm -hmm. So let's go through this library and see what it is that you want to look at today. What would you like to find today? Giant globes. Giant globes. Looking at land, different lands. Looking at lands. Learning about other play people in other places. Mm -hmm. Are these globes things that you sit in or you look through? They're very large. You just sit and they turn. And they, you sit inside of them? No. You look at them? Yes. Mm -hmm. And they turn? And you're able to see? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, big, in every land in the world. So what are you seeing now? Seeing the, see it turn. Seeing it turn? Very big, and I'm looking and looking at it. What are you seeing as you're looking at it? All the land, all the oceans. All the land and the oceans? I haven't this... seen anything like is this just of one place or different planets? Just the Earth. Just the Earth. I think. Can you ask the lady that you saw? Is she willing to help you? Everybody is willing to help there. Okay. Can you find someone who will help today? I don't think I asked anybody. 
I love everything I'm seeing. Walking and walking. So describe this place as you're walking. Allow me to see with you. Outside it looks like a marble. A beautiful building with high steps and you go up. When you're inside, it goes on and on and on. What's the inside made of? White marble. Oh, white marble. So the outside is white? Yes. And the inside? And it's in the air. It's, it's in the cloud. <coughs> it's in the cloud. Yes. Mm-hmm. And there's more like this. There's more like this. Just, I heard there more. Mm-hmm. So happy there. Interesting. So happy. I don't, I want to just stay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else there is in this place. It's like the farther I walk, the farther it goes. The farther it goes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else there besides this library? Lots and lots of people. Lots of people. Take a look at these people and see if you find any cord attached to them. Do you find anyone with cords? No. Mm hmm Cords, no. Any cords leading from their souls? No. Okay. And they're all dressed Roman style? All of them. Do you see anything else besides people there? Any trees? No. Just buildings? Just one big building. One big building. Very good. Let's see if we could find some information that Kathy was looking for. She was looking for information about the Dead Sea Scrolls. Can you ask the lady there if she would guide you to that book? Tell me what she says. She's not saying anything. She's not saying anything. Pointing. Mm hmm. What is she pointing to? I walk where she's pointing. I'm not seeing anything. Like, I've seen pictures of them, but mm -hmm. nothing more than the pictures. Let's see if you could connect with those pictures telepathically. Connect with them. Everything there is done telepathically. See yourself absorbing your mind into the pictures. And let me know if the pictures say anything. Walking all the way around them. Walking all the way around them? Mm-hmm. What do you get from them? Nothing. Nothing. Just nice to see them. Just nice to see them. Very good. Is there anything else in this place that's relevant to you? <coughs> I look down and can see. America has changed. America has changed. Okay, tell me how it's changed. There's a big gap through the middle. There's a big gap through the middle? Like, like somebody cut a path right through the middle and it's water now. It's water now? Mm -hmm. There's two sides. Two sides of America now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. See if you could take a closer look and describe what you see. 
things happen that I don't it's doesn't look the same anymore. Mm, doesn't look the same. Take a look at the shape of America. It's changed. Mm hmm How has it changed? Is there any land missing? Maybe Midwest. The Midwest? A big waterway. Is there any part that's connected? Not that I can see. Mm -hmm. But there's other changes in the world. There's other world? Okay. So is, tell I me. think in the future. Mm -hmm. There'll be oh, upheavals. There'll be upheavals? Mm -hmm. I'm just staring at America. Staring at America. Take a look at the area that was California. It's lost some land. It's lost some land. Mm hmm What else? Several changes on the coast. Several changes on the coast. Alaska's different now. Alaska's different. Tell me how it's changed. Land has gone under. Lost some land. Lost some land. Okay. What else do you see? The earth is changing. The earth is turning in front of me. And the earth is changing and turning in front of me. Uh, some land that can't. A lot of changes are mm -hmm. going to happen. Take a look at the East Coast. What does it look like now? Some of the coastal. Do you see the peninsula of Florida? Lots of changes. Lots of changes. Can you describe them for me? <coughs> Mostly islands. Mostly islands. So the United States now has islands around it? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Small islands, Florida. Almost gone. Almost gone. Florida's almost gone. Pieces have survived. Mm -hmm. Pieces have survived. Something. What areas have survived? It's all not solid anymore. It's some water, then some land, then some water, then some land. Okay, so like little islands? Yes. Large islands? Or small islands? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the northern part of America? Like in the area of New York? Anything around water is, is changing. Anything around water is changing. Some... Hard to describe. Mm -hmm. Land changes. Land changes. And you said that the earth was moving. Tell me about that. Just in a... Just rotating. Just rotating? It's just like I was in front of it and looking at the land so it had changed. Mm -hmm. How did it move? Any particular way? From left to right. From left to right? That's how it was rotating. Mm-hmm. How's it rotating now? I don't know. Did it stop? No, I was looking at New York. Um, I'm getting different views. I'm getting different views of New York? Or of, the, the Earth. of the Earth. Okay. And there'll be earth changes. Can you see any other place in the globe? Europe? 
Asia, South America or Africa. Any countries in the water by water. Any countries some, by water? Some are going. Some are going? Could be gone. Okay. What does Australia look like? Suffering. Suffering. Weather changes. Weather changes. Too hot. Too, too hot. Too hot. Can you find out what it is that caused all of these changes? Is there a way that you can go back in time and see? What caused it? Was it natural? Was it hit by something? Yes, natural. It was natural? Mm-hmm. It's always been hit. It's always been hit? With... Space debris. Space debris? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meteors. Is there anything in this picture that you see that you're feeling in your heart? Any message that you feel is coming from it? Put it into words. Mm -hmm. What feelings are you getting from it? So beautiful. So beautiful. Earth is so beautiful. But changes are coming. Changes are coming. In this message that you're getting about these Earth changes, are you getting any feeling of how we should feel about these changes? No. Nothing I can say. Mm-hmm. Is there any way that consciousness can change these? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell me about that. Oh. And our consciousness can you speak a little louder? When conscious is raised. When conscious is raised. Helps everybody and everything. Helps everybody and everything. Especially the earth. Especially the earth. How can we connect and raise our consciousness? Source. Source. Every day. Every, Every day. day. Mm hmm Connect more. Connect more. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Thank you. I know that you could have shown Kathy many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one about the man with the lion? <coughs> what was the purpose of that lifetime? More wisdom. Wisdom? Strength and honor. Strength and honor? Mm-hmm. What were you trying to tell her about that? That she needs that or she has that? She 
She needs that. She needs that. How can how can she connect and tap into that from that man? That aspect of her. How can she connect with you better to get all of those things? The source. The source. Does she need to pray to the source or meditate? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now she says she's not very consistent about meditation. What's going on there? Lazy. Lazy. Okay. So we need to get her to just do it. Okay. Very good. And once she connects, what will she get from that? More peace of mind. More peace of mind. Good. Good. You also showed her the life of the girl being pelted on the mountain. Why did you pick that lifetime for her to see? There are changes all the time. Mm hmm There are changes all the time. Try to be ready for them. Mm hmm Not so fearful. Not so fearful. Are these earth changes happening soon? Sometime in the future. Sometime in the future. Is it something that we need to be concerned about? In this lifetime? Yes. Yes. How can we better ourselves? I've heard that there is a, a new earth. Does this have anything to do with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about that? No. No. It's not time? No. Okay. But we need to be at least, um, at least be known, knowing that this is happening? Yes. Mm -hmm. The awakening that people are going through right now, is this the reason why so many people are waking up? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if we continue to wake up others and raise the consciousness, can we help Mother Earth and not go through these changes? Yes. Okay, good. So what what message would you like to give to humanity about that? Let's try to believe. Things will get better. Believe things will get better. Turn to the source. Turn to the source. Well, some people would feel that things are getting worse. There's a lot more violence. People are getting agitated. Is this real or is this something that's being reflected by Both. others? Both. Mm -hmm. If we turn to the source, can we minimize this? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Kathy hears a lot of songs in her head of people giving her messages. Can you tell her a little bit about those? Guides. Those are her guides. Guides letting her know. Mm -hmm. She's not alone. She's not alone. 
Does she feel alone? Not so much. Okay. How many guides does she have? Three. Three. Do they have names or descriptions? I once, I once heard Gupta. Gupta? Mm-hmm. No more names. No more names. And these guides, are they always with her or do they change? One changed. One changed? Okay. She says she is very connected to Jesus. And that when she saw some of the channelings from him, she was very emotional about it. Is there a way we can connect with Jesus today? Would you allow me to connect with Jesus? Should we try later? Yes. Thank you. She has questions about relationships in her life. And she says she feels stuck. Why is she feeling lazy? Lazy. She's lazy. Not trying hard enough. She's not trying hard enough. She, she knows what to do. She knows what to do. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with her mom and the dementia? Is this something that they set up to do? To go through this experience together? Do they have a contract to go through this? I don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's connect a little bit deeper. Let's take a deep breath in and feel yourself going deeper and deeper. Allow yourself to go back to that beautiful beach that you love so much. See yourself on that sand and allow me to connect with your higher self. And let me ask the higher self these questions again. <coughs> Kathy says that it's rare to speak with anyone except for her mom now. What's the reason she feels stuck? Why is she not trying? No one she knows. No one she knows? That's interested in this. That's interested in this. So that brings up the subject. Is she someone that should be getting into this quantum healing hypnosis? That would definitely bring in people to talk with. She thinks she could. She thinks she could? Mm -hmm. As her higher Not self, sure. what do you think? She applies herself. Mm -hmm. If she applies herself, she could? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that will bring more relationships into her life? Sure. Yes. Very good. So from, from your point of view, looking at her from a higher level, is this something she should do? Or stick with the massage? She will stay with the massage. Mm -hmm. Contemplate hypnosis. 
contemplate hypnosis. Okay, good. So getting back to her mom again, this dementia thing that she's needing to deal with. She's a little concerned if she's going to get some dementia. No. No. Okay. So what's the reason she's with her mom now? Did they have a, some sort of comic agreement? Kathy is a caregiver. Mm-hmm. She's the best caregiver for her mother. Okay. So it just works out perfectly, doesn't it? Yes. Good. She wants to know if they, um, these lives that she's living. She saw herself as an aristocrat. She wants to know if that's a parallel life. Yes. Mm hmm. Is she living that right now? Yes. Where is that? England. England. Can you tell me a little bit how these parallel lives work? choose we choose lessons lives mm -hmm. important lessons to learn mm -hmm. what's the lesson lesson that she chose in this lifetime as Kathy forgiveness forgiveness is she learning that yes she said she was having a little trouble with that. Doesn't happen overnight. Okay, so she needs to work on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is her purpose in life? Caregiving? Yes. Okay, so she's doing her purpose. All right, good. And she just has to work now on her, on the forgiveness. More patience. More patience, okay. Well, I guess her mother is teaching her that. <laughs> Kathy says she's fascinated with crop circles. Why is that? Alien lifetime. Alien lifetime. Can you tell her about that? I think alien lifetime. Mm -hmm. Something pulls. Mm -hmm. Is this lifetime something important for her to see today? No. No, okay. So is there anything about these crop circles that she needs to know about? What they're trying to tell? I don't know. Uh, Her messages. And yeah. mm -hmm. oh. Good messages. They're good messages. Loving. Mm -hmm. These aliens that are doing these these messages, are they on Earth here for a reason? Helping. They're helping. Are they helping with the environment or with the consciousness? Both. Both. Okay. Is there anything in particular that they do that we don't know about? They watch, watch guards. They're watch guards? Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, watching. Mm-hmm. Helping. For example, if there's something, maybe a missile that goes up, do they intervene? Yes. Mm-hmm. Have they interviewed with anything else? Before. Before. <clears throat> Any specifics? They have stopped wars. 
from they've, happening. They've stopped wars from happening. Is that by changing the consciousness of the leaders, or what? Stopping the missiles themselves. Oh, stopping the missiles themselves. Okay. Are they any doing anything to clean up, for example, um, radiation spills or anything like that? Are they able to do that? Yes, I don't know. Okay. All right. But you do know about the missiles, for sure. Anything yeah. else that's interesting about what they're doing? Helping raise consciousness. Helping raise consciousness. Good. Do these beings look like anything that we are familiar with? Some do, some don't. Okay. Or some of them look like the greys? Yes. Any of them look human? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about reptilian? Yes. Very good. So all of them are, are part of this? Yes. Okay. Good. Why is Kathy so sensitive to essential oils? <coughs> Why does she have that olfactory oh, nerve? Very sensitive. Okay. Is that something we could work on today? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be asking the health questions in a little bit, but we can at least start with that now. Is there any messages from the dogs that she's had in her life? Maybe Jebby or Travis or Sue? Such loving souls. Mm -hmm. Around a lot. Do they want to tell her anything today? No? They're good, though? Okay, good. Let's see if you have anything else here before we go on. Just out of curiosity, when we were talking before this session, my Siri turned on. Did anybody turn that on? Rufus. Rufus. Who's Rufus? A being. A being? I'm not getting any. I'm funny. He's a funny being? Mm hmm. Does he hang out with Kathy? No. He hangs out with me? Mm hmm. Is he one of my guides? Not sure. Not sure. He just wanted to make himself known? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rufus, for that comical relief that you did. No doorbells this time. Do you have any message for Michelle today? Maybe focusing on her eczema. All about love. All about love. What does she need to know? Are we talking about self love? Yes. Okay. So she needs to love herself more? Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Would you do a body scan on her now? What did you find? Attachment. Attachment. Where is this attachment? Her head. In her head. Would you allow me to speak with the attachment today? Yes. To help him? Very good. I'm going to take my hand. 
and bring it down and allow yourself to express yourself are you male or female energy male mm -hmm. what may I call you today Sadness. Sadness. Mm -hmm. So sadness, how long have you been there with Kathy? Long time. Long time. How old was she when you attached to her? Four. Four. That's a long time, sadness. What was going on in her life that allowed you to attach to her, make her vulnerable to you? Daddy left. Daddy left, okay. So sadness, When she, when you attached to her, did she ask for you? No. No. So what made you feel that you should help her? Cried a lot. She cried a lot? And what did you want to do with her? Stay with her. Stay with her. Were you trying to console her? Or did you help feel? me? Oh, you wanted to help yourself? Yes. Okay. Sadness, how old are you? Seven. Seven? Your little boy? Yes. Mm hmm How old how how was it that you lost your body? Sick. You were sick. What happened to your body? You just got sick? Sick. Mm hmm Who did you live with, Sadness? <laughs> Mom. Mom? Did you have a daddy? He's gone. He was gone. Just like Kathy, right? Yes. The same thing. Where did you live when you had a body? Cabin. In a cabin. Do you know what year it is? No. So your daddy left you and you stayed with your mom and got sick? Yes. So when you left your body, what happened? Where did you go? To Kathy. To Kathy. So what is it that you've caused her all these years? What has she felt? Sorry sad. Sorry and sad? Yeah. This all came from you? Mm hmm Anything else that you caused her? Pity. Pity? Self-pity. Self-pity. Is that how you felt? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Did you cause her any discomfort in her body? Headaches. Headaches. Uh-huh. Would you like for her to forgive you for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So ask her. Go ahead and ask her so she can hear. You forgive me, Kathy. Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in. Be Kathy. What would you like to tell Sadness? Can I you... forgive you. Go in peace. Very good. So let me speak with Sadness again. Sadness, I know that you feel very sad, don't you? You never made it. You weren't able to find your mommy again, were you? No. Would you like to find her now? Yes. All right, but before you go, I want you to leave all that sadness with me. There's no reason to take it with you, is there? Would you like me to take that from you? Yes. All right, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, Sadness, and I want you to give me all of those feelings that you felt, that loneliness, being sorry for yourself, self-pity, all the heartaches that you felt. I want you to give it all to me and tell me when I have it all. Give it all to me. Okay. 
I'm going to take it and send it up to the universe for healing. Now sadness in that space, that beautiful big space, what would you like to fill it with? Oh, lots of love. I'm going to put a fire hose of love in there. Fill your heart with lots and lots of love. Feel it taking, consuming all of you, filling up all of your space. And I'm going to touch your forehead and seal it. What else would you like to put in there? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Let's put lots of forgiveness in there. Very good. Anything else? Your little boy. What would your little boys like? My mom. Let's put your mommy in there. Once we get in there, let's put the, the feeling of having your mom back. You're going to see her real soon. And seal that. Are you ready to go now, Sadness? Yes. All right, I want you to take and pull out all of those cords and cables that you have in your head connecting you there. And Kathy, I want you to pull them out by the roots and tell me what it is that it looks like. Mm-hmm. Pull all that out, Sadness. And I want you to go up to the top of her head here, and there's a bunch of angels waiting to escort you up to the light. I want you to tell me when you see these angels surrounding you. Light. Lots of light. Lots of light. Beautiful. I want you to go straight up to Source and tell me if you see your mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give her a big hug. Give her a big hug. So sadness, now that you're up in the in that beautiful white light of source, what would you like me to call you now? Tommy. 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 So Tommy, from that source, now that you're able to access all of that beautiful healing light, I want you to fill Kathy's head, the space that you left, fill it with lots of that beautiful light from the divine. Flood her whole head up with that. Every space that you took in there. Fill it up. And tell me when you're done. Because mommy's walking away. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Thank you, Tommy. May the light of the universe accompany you always. And let me connect now with Kathy's higher self. Thank you very much for allowing me to do that. Did you see any other attachments? Take a look at her body and see if you see anything else. She says that she had had some issues with her lymph nodes before. Let me know how her limbs look now. How does the lymphatic system look now? Fine. Beautiful, beautiful. Take a look at her eyes. She asked about her vision, possible cataracts. Can you take a look at her eyes and see how they look? Fine. Can you put some extra healing in there while she sleeps so that it could clear her eyes? Yes. Thank you. She tells me that she's had, she's losing her, the feeling in her hands and her feet. Tell Kathy why she's feeling, she's losing that. Destructive chemotherapy. 
destructive chemotherapy. Now I know that the higher self and the body can heal anything. Can we send some light in there today? Mm -hmm. Tell her what you're using. What color is this energy that you're using? Bright yellow. Bright yellow, beautiful. Let me know when you're done. Okay. Wonderful. How do they look now? Just fine. Wonderful. We want her hands working. We want, we want her feet working well so that she can start exercising and moving. And I know that Dolores Cannon has been very effective in getting me clients that have been reading her books and seeing her videos. Does Dolores have anything to say today? Not here. This is not the right venue for it? Or she's not here? Not, she's not here. She's not here, okay. We asked before about Jesus. Does he have any message for her now? It is well in her soul? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's his message? Yes. Okay. Will she understand that? Yes. Wonderful. Is there anything that I should have asked that I didn't ask during the session that you would like to tell her? No. No. Okay. Is there a final message for Kathy that you would like to tell her? Never give up. No more give up. Never give up. Never give up. Mm -hmm. Has she been giving up? Other times, other places. Mm -hmm. Stay strong. Stay strong. You are loved. You are surrounded in love. Thank you very much. Five, wide awake now. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Your hands were made of stone. <laughs> I felt like they were all one. You felt like you were all one? They, they were part of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy those from you. What uh, did you feel from them? What were you getting? Warm. Mm -hmm. and comforting, mm -hmm. and they were part of me. That was, that was neat. <laughs> so what? you're going to use that with your massage therapy? Or for your meditation? Meditation. <clears throat> meditation. So, Perfect. how long do you feel that you were on this little journey? I don't have anything, Karen. Like, we haven't been down here too long. You know what I remember? Mm -hmm. Little Tommy going out and talking to his mommy. Mm -hmm. I was just wow. I was just so dear. You see, she was in a pioneer dress. I would call. Uh, she know? was in a pioneer dress. Yeah, you just see on TV the old western. Yes, so he was from the old west. That's what it seemed. That's what she was wearing. Mm -hmm. oh, it was just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was in and out a lot. 
it would come and go and come and go. I have bits you, and pieces. What do you remember? Being hit on the head. Being hit on the head. I thought watching her, the, the girl walking on the very high mountain, mm -hmm. I thought it was a volcano. What was it? I think it was a landslide. A landslide. And they were starting, but they were way off top, and I thought, who's throwing rocks at me? But it, mm -hmm. it, I like volcanoes. I've been around them, <laughs> and you can see these. Right. And they were that big. Wow. And I uh, always was... So she was buried. What about, do you remember the uh, the Hall of the Records of Learning place? That was so beautiful, and I, it was familiar. Mm -hmm. It was like, I think we've always been able to go in there when we wanted. Mm -hmm. But why Roman? I didn't. Hmm. Everybody was in Rome. Now, when you saw the earth, you were very detailed oh. about it. Have you ever seen anything like that before? No. And I've never... One time, I dreamed I was... Um, I think it was a... It must have been a dream. I was out in space, mm -hmm. floating. And I was by the rings of Saturn, and I was putting my hands out to see if I could feel them. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought, hey, I don't feel God here. Hmm. I'm awake. Well, yeah. Well, I was very interested in your your map of how so you saw it. I was there wondering. Was a giant you... globe in there, mm -hmm. a giant globe. But I was over to the side of the Earth, and it was moving, mm -hmm. and I could see different changes mm -hmm. and part of me was sad and part of me was it's always done this mm -hmm. through the time or, right and so there's no big deal but now there's millions of people yeah well you were describing the uh the map that was channeled to Lori toy uh, the i am america map i was wondering if you had ever seen that i don't recognize the names okay Lori Toy, T O Y E. Hmm. And she um, has a map that pretty much describes exactly what you were describing. So I was wondering if you had ever seen that before. Is she, is she I, I get Comcast. I get a few channels. I don't have I'll a show big that range. To, I'll show that to you before yeah. you leave so that you can see the. Yeah. To see if that's what it looked like because she describes all of that on her map. So hmm. I was wondering if you were looking at the same I thing. I didn't get a feel of Jesus. I didn't get mm -hmm. a feel of, of, of Dolores. Well, but yet, they they weren't right here, but mm -hmm. they're never too far away. Okay. They so just, I'm okay. They just weren't ready to talk. It, or, yeah, or it wasn't time, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel light, um, which I think is <laughs> you, dear soul. Um yeah, I've never, I, of all the lifetimes I have picked up here and there, mm -hmm. those two never did. Well, you had the tsunami. So I have it. What about the lion? You felt a lot of fear. Um, Do you remember that one? Yeah. And no, you, man, I never had that before. But you were able to connect with the but lion. But this time, oh, yeah. How did they feel the change from fear to... I felt to, um, a kindredness of mm -hmm. it. And yet I understood why they... Mm -hmm. That's what they used to eat. Yeah. We all did. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't ever wasted. And somehow the lion understood that. But I didn't want it to happen. And did you know that only 80% 80 80 are gone? Mm -hmm. How do you lose 80%? Because people are coming into the country. Mm -hmm. And you're in the way now, so you got to go. Yeah. So, what did you feel about the experience? You've been in hypnosis before. What was this? Was deeper. Mm -hmm. um, with it, what I think, what I want with it is like get down there and stay down there. <laughs> but it you float up and down. Yeah, I did, mm -hmm. and I float up and down. And but as soon as we were talking about um, Tommy and yes, uh, immediately it was here. It was here. Mm -hmm. It was here. And I'm like, wow. And it was like layers of darkness coming down. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was that was pretty sweet seeing him go. Mm -hmm. Did you feel yourself being filled up with it? Yes. Yes, I did. So that should clear up some of the fog. Oh, yeah. I'm the really, scientist. you know, I'm not uh, looking for total perfection, which 
hey, when you got it, you got it. <laughs> That'll get Millie laughing, too. And, you know, that's fun. But, uh, yeah, I am very glad I How do your feet feel? I'm just a little stiff, but that's okay. I was stiff from holding up, yes. but I'm not you, hurting. Not you were you up. were two blocks of selenite in <laughs> your hands. <laughs> what is that made from? I mean, is that it's something from the earth? It's a stone, yes, it is. Wow. So I asked you, how long did you feel you were on there? I have no idea. We're, we're, you were about an hour and 35 minutes. Did well, it feel I like Well, I didn't that? think, no, it, I didn't think it was... It was going to be terribly long because I didn't give you a lot of questions. No. But, uh, no, I had no time. Mm -hmm. Wow. So do you recommend this for others? Yes. Is this something you want to share? You mean like on like, like if yeah. I go back home and, and say I've seen you or do you I do it no. here? Do you, do you want to share this on YouTube? I could cut out the parts that are about family. Is it, I don't, how do I put this, is it good enough? I mean, is it interesting enough? The well, part about the earth changes is definitely a, a wilder. Okay, sure. Because what's basically saying is that we have to raise our consciousness. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's been coming to me, I think. Mm -hmm. Slow but sure. And, and I did hear more than once lazy. <laughs> and that runs in the family. Yeah, <laughs> just so darn. <clears throat> So, we've just had a really interesting session with Kathy. Kathy, where are you from? Washington, Pennsylvania. So you came from a long way, mm -hmm. and uh, you enjoyed the session? Very much so. And do you recommend this? Absolutely. <laughs> Is Jack going to come in the mail? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we needed a laugh. That's I know, okay. I know. <clears throat> so Absolutely. You, so if you would like a session... Um, with me in Miami, Florida, you could look me under uh, look me up under albaweinman.com. All right. Until the next time. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah.